Um, hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know this video is, like, kind of late. If I was making this video for, for like, people to see, like, kind of, like, as inspiration for their November setup or something. But, I don't know. It uh, actually was kind of late because the... I'm recording this voiceover. I think it's probably going to be the day before I post this, but I'm recording it on November 5th. So, yeah, and only just today have I been able to, like, start using this because I was just kind of late in setting it up, but that's okay. So, this month is themed Howl's Moving Castle, and, um... Probably, like, my, one of my favorite characters of all time is Calcifer, the fire thing. Um, so, um, he had to be on my cover. And since November is my birthday month, I just had to do something that I really love, like Calcifer. I, I can't make this whole thing Calcifer themed, so I just did House Moving Castle themed. So... Um, on the left side, I have Markle, that's a little, the, like, the little boy in it, but I didn't do him, like, as he normally looks, I put him in his costume that he uses to be, like, a wizard guy, even though he's probably, like, eight, so on that side, I have the quote, they say that the best they say that the best blaze burns the brightest when circumstances are at their worst. Um, Sophie, that's like the main character. And yes, I do know that I accidentally did three hops for M in circumstances. It's fine. It's permanent. I'm not going to do anything about it. And then on the right side, I have Calcifer clinging onto a log for dear life. It says, may all your bacon burn. Because that's something he says. Of course, he doesn't say that at that moment because he looks too cute for that. And just November and a piece of washi tape. Well, the washi tape's not there yet. I forgot what point of time this is. Well, so that's what it says. And I'm watercoloring over top of the pens. Of a pen, so that's that's fun. So now here's like kind of like a habit tracker sort of thing. And I'm doing... I don't even know what his name is. I think he's like a prince or something. Turn up head. And a little quote from Sophie again. That says, I've always hated turnips. I thought it was, that was funny. Because it's literally just some turn up dude. So, I did forget like the little things that go out around the edge of the hat. But, I will add them later. Um, I even forgot like the pink strip thingy on his hat. So, yay. Um, I add those later, too. So, the funny thing is, like, I usually don't have to mix that many new colors. But for this one, I had to mix a lot of colors. And so, here I am trying to make a pink strip to add to his hat. It's actually supposed to be more of, like, a purpley pink, but I did my best. So, I actually just used plain printer paper for that. Yeah. And across the edge, all of those Roman numerals... That took the longest, and it was, like, the mo the hardest thing I've ever done for any bullet journal setup ever. It's crazy. So, I, I noticed as I was watercoloring my, like, drawing of this, how strange the color combination of his outfit is. Like, I've never seen anybody in real life wear that color combination, but I guess he is kind of like a scarecrow. So, yeah. And I also, I have no idea, how does a little pipe stick into his mouth? It's literally connected to his tooth. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So, um, yeah. Um. Oh, I just noticed. I moved on to the next one. Second to last one. This is my weather tracker. Um. I love the colors I mixed for Howl and Sophie. Like, that slightly bluish black the slightly greenish blue oh they're so pretty so i had to like put them on the side there and i was wondering what i would use to fill that space and i figured it out so now my final page um this is just like i don't know 
to invite myself to use as much space as I want to, like, journal and stuff. So, I have Calcifer sitting on his fire in the house, but not the whole house, just that. Pretty simple and nice. I noticed that, like, um, lately I've been doing a more minimalist style in my bullet journal. And I like it a lot better. It's, but, like, it's still so much color and so much stuff going on. But it's pretty fun. So, yeah, um, just finishing up my painting. Now here's, like, a flip, final flip through my cover page. And I'm actually really happy with how Castlefer turned out. I think, I don't know, I actually was surprised with how well I did because I'm literally using watercolors. And I don't really, like, blend with watercolors that much. So, yeah. Then here is, like, the habit sort of page with those time-wasting Roman numerals. And then the weather page. And it's going to be kind of like a line graph because, I don't know, I love graphs. So, there's that page. Also, oh, wait, never mind. You know what, I'll say it. Sophie looks like a monkey to me, the way I drew her. <laughs> and then here is the last page. This is actually, this might be my favorite one. I don't know. It's really nice. I don't know. So I did add the washi that I said I talked about earlier. But yeah, so that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.